Christians have been electing Republican politicians in the office for more than a generation. Because they promised to bring back family values. They talk about traditional family values. But when you think about it, what have they really accomplished? We elected people from Reagan forward that had that message, and they didn't come through. Nothing has really changed. Families are still breaking apart. Abortions are still high as ever. And our elected officials, if they're going to say stuff like that, then they need to come through. And all we have to show for our votes is gridlock in Congress. We've got polarized politics where the extremes are running it and the people with common sense are gone. They've gotten out. They really don't represent that Christianity that we expect them to show in Congress. When Republicans had their chance to do what they had promised on social issues, all they really accomplished were tax cuts, and above all, tax cuts for those who need them the least. Tax breaks, which I think are wonderful, but we, we need to do more. And now we've been put in the position of fighting each other as if we were enemies. They blame the poor, say they're not carrying their load. Because they don't make enough to pay income taxes. Blaming the poor is not Blaming Christian. the poor is not Christian. It is not Christian and it is not biblical. The Republican Party has been promising family values for an entire generation. And if they haven't delivered if by now, If they haven't delivered by now, chances, chances are, are they, they never, never will. will. Did you know? 65% of all abortions are performed on Christian patients. 65% are performed on Christian patients. If we want to see an end to abortion, let's start at church. If we start practicing what we if preach. we start practicing what we preach. We can see a 65% decline in abortion. 65% decline in abortion. The Republicans have an oxymoron view of life. They don't want abortions, but they don't mind executions. And I have a hard time with that. We don't know what God can do with that person. I'm a Democrat. I'm an independent. I may be a Republican, but more importantly, I am a Christian. I'm a Christian. I've been a minister for 63 years, and I know that no political party ever has or ever could represent God. God is, God not. is, not, a God is not a Republican. It may be obvious to some people, but to me, it was a revelation. For a while, I believe in order to be a good Christian, you had to vote with the Republican Party. I know God's not a Republican. I know he's not a Democrat. He's not a socialist. He's not a communist. He's not a capitalist. He's not even an American. God is spirit. And where the spirit is, there is liberty. There is freedom. That means that we are free. You and I are free to vote for whatever candidate. Whatever candidate we think would do the best job. Politicians? can't make America more Christian. They cannot legislate salvation. That's not what they're for. That's what we Christians are supposed to be doing by the way we live. The people that are Christ-centered, they don't have to tell you. They do it by their actions. How about Christians start acting more like Christ and less like politicians? How about we start showing the love of Christ? How about we stop talking about Jesus and start being more like Jesus? Because if we lift him up, Instead of politics and anger, instead of fear and propaganda, instead of self-righteousness, then when we lift him up, he will draw all men into him. Then America will be more Christian. Because Christians would be more like because Christ. Because Christians will be more like Christ. Okay, so spread the word. So help spread the word. Share this video. Let everyone know. God is God not, is not God a Republican. Is not a Republican. God is not a Republican.